many times we use the term agroforestry more or less synonymous with uh, integrated farming. But in the, the only difference is that in uh, the agroforestry concept, we use the combination of trees and animals and fish and those kind of things. But we pay attention to recycling the waste. We do not pay so much attention to uh, how we can hasten the decomposition and exchange system and how we can use the function of the animal, not just the product of the animal, not just the uh, waste of particular animal or bird or fish. Of course, that is basic level of integration, but we want more. So, functional integration, what the duck is doing in the rice field, what the, uh, what the fish is doing in the pond, is important as much as what it is producing. Hmm? So, a good close integration always takes care of the functional association. Trees, if we are looking at a tree, it, it has certain uses, like the use of the leaf, use of the fruit, use of the bark, use of the root. But these are all uses, they are oriented to they are oriented to human knowledge and they are oriented to human needs. Whereas when we talk about function of the tree, we are talking about what does it do in nature, which birds make nest on it, which bees, whether bees come to collect honey and during which, what kind of, whether the root is useful in holding the soil together, is controlling erosion. So, whether the tree structure is such that it can give light shade or dark shade, whether the branches are from low or from high, so can it provide a canopy under which animals can rest? Is it straight trunk so that it grows fast, so that it can actually support some vine climbing on that. All these kind of factors are important, not just the dropping or not just the urine. That is, that is, many, that in level of integration is possible, even if many loose integration is possible, even if my chicken house is there, cow house is there, rice field is there. But when we are talking of close integration, it means those elements have to be close to each other, number one. Number two, as we were discussing, uh, that uh, all kind of uh, not only big animals, but all kind of microbial uh, biological organisms, all kind of, whether it is algae, whether it is uh, earthworm, whether it is many, the smaller the better, because, for example, uh, the azula is very small weed, but it is important because roughly 30 percent of it is protein, and number two, that every four or five days it can double its volume. So. So very small area, but it becomes double in four or five days and in another five days it will become double. So very little, a microorganism like a bacteria can become one to one million in the space of one or two hours. That is how we make dahi, that is how we make bread because we use the power of the macroorganism. So, in ecological agriculture, we always try to use the power of microorganism to help us in the integration. And in this case, 
মানে অপোজিট টু দ্য ফুড চেন দি লংগার দ্য চেন দি মোর ইউজফুল প্রোডাক্ট টু বি গেট মানে উই ট্রাই টু ক্রিয়েট এ লং চেন rather than for example rather than only using the cow dung straight as a manure in the vegetable field we use the manure to make a biogas we use the biogas slurry either to feed fish or to irrigate the rice or to raise our farms and then the substrate of maybe ki making some kind of we can also spread it on some straw or something and then grow mushroom on that and then we use the substrate for making compost so in this way the more chains we get each time we are getting a product from the vagas we are getting gas to cook and we are getting by products slurry from the slurry we are getting some kind of when we are raising barmi compost we are getting compost but we are also getting worm which can be used as a chicken or fish feed and then we and we can earn money by selling the barmi compost and the later part when we are making fish food or we are making mushroom food of course those things are either written or it is sold so either it become food or it becomes money we don't have to buy from market we produce our own fertilizer on the farm that is the whole idea of trying to do integration to mix things in right proportion and to make it as long chain as possible as i say for example we have a 10 rupee or 20 rupee note so the value is not of the paper the value is a notional value the it depends the actual value of the rupee note depends on how many times it change hand a 20 rupee note can do easily 200 rupees work within a day if it change hand 10 times so same way when energy is changing being passed on to one kind to other when waste is being used then each time we are getting some product so it is important to think about that